the Department of Physiology and Functional Genomics, which houses the physiology concentration of the Biomedical Sciences Program, has faculty with expertise in a variety of molecular and physiological techniques. Our faculty in the department have research programs in endocrinology and muscle physiology and neuroscience, fetal development, vascular physiology, and many, many other um, physiological aspects. We have a very strong muscle physiology group that um, has investigators not only within the Department of Physiology, but also the, the university as a whole. I was really looking um, for places that were strong in skeletal muscle research. Um, which led me to applying to the University of Kentucky um, because at the time they had a very strong skeletal muscle program. And so th that's where I started my graduate career. I found the lab I currently am in. And then two years into that, uh, we moved to the University of Florida where we are now. And as part of that, like it was really due to this growing myology institute that is here where people, UF as part of their preeminence program is really bringing in a lot of people who are leaders in their fields and one of the f sort of areas of focus is skeletal muscle biology. Our lab studies the, the role of circadian rhythms in skeletal muscle. Circadian rhythms are these 24-hour biological processes. But what most people don't know about those, or don't at least don't think about with those, is that there's actually this molecular basis to that. And so our labs, uh, what we're really interested in is how that mechanism works in skeletal muscle specifically and what sort of processes it's controlling in skeletal muscle. The students here benefit from a really collaborative environment. Um, so there are, um, within the department itself, there are multiple collaborations among the investigators. So students will be trained in the techniques of the laboratory that they're in, but not only that, they'll also be trained in techniques and concepts from laboratories that are collaborating with with the laboratory that they're in. Um, not only are there collaborations within the department, many of the faculty members within the department are collaborating outside the department and outside of the college. So I've been working quite a bit in the Center for Neurogenetics and in the ICBR, so the, where, because I've been doing some next generation sequencing um, to really look at RNA expression and alternative splicing of the Titan, the protein that I'm interested in. Um, we also work with um, within the Myology Institute with other labs. Um, may, for me, currently, it's mainly to, for histology. Um, so like access to, you know, cryostats where we can cut muscle tissue and also microscopes where we can look at that. And then also for functional parameters, we have like looking at any sort of like function stuff. We usually go up to the um, College of Health and Human Performance. Like the University of Florida, we really have access to a lot of equipment and a lot of techniques that you don't have elsewhere because the university is very large and the, the College of Medicine is very active um, research-wise. Um, and so we really like that's sort of surprising but um, what we were hoping we would have here is really just access to a lot of different things at our fingertips where we can really like what you want to do is isn't limited.